Alright, what's up guys? I'm going to show you a video version today of how to route the LG Motion 4G. Um, I already installed the drivers on my computer. Those will be the first link in the description. You want to do that first. I'm using AndroZip and I have the system backup test APK that you need to run right there. So, first things first, we're going to run that. Choose install. Package installer. Uh, I gotta turn on unknown sources. Make sure you turn on unknown sources and then go into developer options and turn on USB debugging. Alright, back to this. So we're gonna choose install. Package installer. Do you want to install? Install that. Application installed. Done. Alright. Um, on your computer you'll see I have already downloaded the package I need it's right there full 4 xer we're gonna extract all extract all right and then you're gonna get this thing here you're gonna open that up and you'll see this file where is it Ah, that one right there. That one called root. That's going to be the only one we're using, okay? So, on the phone, I already have USB debugging enabled, and I already got the APK installed. So, we're going to go into our apps. Um... I just want to check something real quick. Just bear with me. You should see... I don't know, it's going to be at the end. System backup test. That app right there, that's going to be the one that we're using. Uh, I just want to make sure I got these steps right. I don't want to steer you guys in the wrong direction. It's been a while since I did this. Um... All right, we're going to run system backup test. We're going to tap on that. It just says hello world. You hold your power button down. Power off and restart. Okay. And it will reboot the phone. Now when the phone reboots, you want this to be in charge only. So put it in charge only. It'll say charging is started. Now you want to go back to your computer. And you want to run that one right there. I don't know why it says installing. I already installed the drivers. We should be good. It's just recognizing my phone. So double click on that. Click on run. And then this is what you should see. Alright, now you see how it says failed, 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 all that stuff? This happened to me my first time, and I didn't know what to do, and I got all beside myself. I was pissed. I didn't know why it did that. So, um, this is how you fix that.
All right, when your phone reboots, open it back up. Go to your apps. And then you want to go run the system backup test again. Hello world. Power off and restart. I don't know why that happens. I don't think anybody really knows why that happens. It happened to me my first time. You just got to do it again. And it will succeed, or it should succeed the second time. Alright, so open this back up. Make sure you're in charge only. Alright, wait for many media scanning to complete. Alright, media scanning is complete. Go back over here, run the root file again. And there you have it. Don't worry about that RM failed for data, blah, blah, blah at the bottom. That is that's meaningless, it means nothing. Your phone will reboot. And we'll just, um, I'll verify root access. I will uh, download root checker. Make sure that this worked. Let me unplug my USB cable. So I can pick my phone up. I will go in the Play Store. I gotta wait for Wi Fi to connect. All right, Wi-Fi is connected. So then we're gonna type in root checker. Root checker. There's the root checker. We'll install that tiny little app. All right, and then we'll open it. Three. Like that, and then you get this button here, verify root access, grant, congratulations, this device has, this device has root access, so it's as simple as that guys, now I got root access on my LG Motion 4G for Metro PCS, enjoy, uh, all the downloads will be in the description, uh, the root package that you need to download will be in the description, the, um, the drivers, the LG drivers, and a link to the APK. And that's it for now. Sworn Leader signing out.